Hi Scorpio, it's L here to do your December 2020 general reading. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Scorpio, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated uh, to those who've already done so. And thank you, Lord. And I said thank you, Lord. And thank you guys to uh, thank you to those who continue to stay subscribed to the channel, even in my hiatus. Okay. All right. So Scorpio, this is going to be a love reading. Uh, we're going to pull some cards for the past, the present, and the advice, and the outcome if you take the advice of the cards, okay? So let's look at the past for Scorpio. All right, the past. All right, King of Pentacles in the past. All right, so there could have been a man that... Um, not very emotional. He he is uh, financially astute. He does have money. He does have resources. He may have even come into your life and helped you. This could be a Taurus. This could be an Aries. It could be anybody. But um, this is a guy who's very business savvy. Um, this could even be you, Scorpio. Who is being business savvy. Um, this guy is in the past. He's, he normally makes good decisions for every person involved. Okay. Um, he's not really um, a selfish decision maker. Okay. Um, and that could have been you. Okay. The card that just flipped out of the deck. None of my cards are reversed. It's the Ace of Cups in reverse. All right. So... Currently, is the Ace of Cups in in reverse. Maybe there are there is no new feelings, there is no new love, no new friendship. Maybe there's no newness in a current situation. Maybe even for yourself, some of you could be depressed, or someone around you is depressed. Um, you thought there would be a resurgence of love, but there isn't. Maybe with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio like yourself. Um, maybe you're not, you're not putting a lot of energy into your look, into your appearance. Okay. What is the Ace of Cups in reverse? Because none of these cards are reversed. The Three of Pentacles upright. Okay, um, so yeah, some of you, what you were trying to communicate through someone or to someone, like you want, you want the love to be rebuilt in a connection. Um, you were working so hard trying to get recognition for from a particular person. This has been an ongoing of love affair. It could be more than one person involved, um, but it feels as if somebody, you, Scorpio, could be the other person who's trying to get recognition from from you or you from them, you know, that you, you want something solid and stable with this person. You don't just want the love affair. You want a commitment. You want a committed relationship. You want something stable, uh, possibly from a feminine energy. Okay, the advice here for you, Scorpio. What's the advice for Scorpio? Is the, wow, okay, is the four of wands. Okay, so something about the home. Somebody's not happy. With the way things are going, with the rebuilding of the relationship, the advice here is four of wands. Something about the completion did a lot to, I heard, to close the circle, to completely close the circle, to get a new home, to cut something's come full circle. Um, once again, some feminine energy in terms of the 
the woman, the children, the home, the foundation, the stability. This is the advice. Okay, let's clarify the four of wands here. What is the four of wands here? What is the four of wands? What is the four of wands? The chariot. Okay, so I know I was saying that maybe there's going to be a move, a physical move here. Uh, moving up of, of the home or... Um, it's going to be some stability in the relationship, in the marriage, if there is one. Someone, someone's trying to maintain control within the home. It could be a female energy. Something is overwhelming. One more card for the four ones and the chariot. Four ones and the chariot. Six of cups. This could be you trying to maintain control and stability. Maybe for a child or children. Maybe for your own health and fitness. Um, you Just being of service to a child, to children, to a family member. Um, very interesting. I'm going to see what this is about. Okay, so the outcome of this situation is the four of cups. All right, somebody's just not happy. Okay, so you moved. Somebody moved. You thought it would satisfy you. There might be a little discontentment. Somebody was trying to get recognition from a particular person in terms of moving or somebody's using the children. The outcome is the Four of Cups. Either you, Scorpio, or you're not taken to an, an offer. You're going to let it pass you by, missed opportunity, discontentment, and boredom. Either someone feels that way about you or you, vice versa. What is the Four of Cups? The Empress. All right. So somebody, that's what I'm saying. This is either you, Scorpio, or somebody you're dealing with. Um, trying to get the attention, but somebody's still not taken to an offer or whatever you are offering. Um, someone who you put on a pedestal. Someone who is very... Um, nurturing, fertile, uh, abundant, beautiful. She likes to dress up, wear nice things. This could be you, Scorpio. Somebody moved and still isn't happy. Someone thought I would I move away or take the kids and I'll, and I'll be happy. Or someone, yeah, okay. What exactly is this about? Yeah, it's just, somebody was trying to really sever ties with the past and have this new life, this new lease on life, this newness come in. Um, yeah, this is what someone was trying to do. Right, it was trying to have more joy, more fulfillment in their connection with themselves. Um, someone was trying to be. Someone took the kids. Someone took the kids. Like, I'm, I'm going to take the children. This is a, Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, someone's doing a lot of fast acting, a lot of moving. Once again, with the six of wands and two of wands, that goes to the eight of wands. Talks about a move. Someone's trying to get recognition for a move that they made. Um, or in this move, they were planning to try to bring somebody back or, or, or get their attention or get a message from them um, if you are a guy Scorpio you might have done something in terms of moving or moving up or doing something luxurious and maybe you didn't get the the response or the outcome or the recognition you were wanting from a particular individual and if you are a female Scorpio, um, it looks like with you moving and moving away with the children, you still aren't happy. You still aren't necessarily satisfied. Um, you were trying to um, make yourself feel better. But at the same time, trying to, I just heard, get a rise out of 
someone by taking the severing ties with maybe um, the father of your children and moving on either with another person or um, you thought if you could move, if you would move or move away from something or somebody or something and somebody that the relationship will get better but there's still an air of discontentment and boredom and um, someone's missing an opportunity it might be because somebody else has someone else in the picture so someone is not directly looking at you Scorpio or vice versa you're not directly looking at one particular person because you have someone else it just seems like a whole bunch of cat and mouse and runner and chaser and um look at me look over here and no one looks um you could be dealing with a fixed sign like yourself aquarius taurus leo scorpio um jeez what's to come of this Uh, you gonna you might make yourself even more confused in this love situation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um you might make yourself even more a little confused here and combative. Um, there might be a combative nature about this love affair where there are a lot of childish games played here. Um what this person or you make this person happy or they make you happy even with all the games played uh something could be ending a relationship could be ending or it, it's on its last leg um someone's carrying the relationship could be you scorpio yeah could be you you might choose to drop it let it die because it looks like somebody's focus is elsewhere. Doesn't look like you let it die. You don't drop. You don't drop it at all. Um, I don't know. This is um. Let me see if I can pull some more cards and see if I can get a different message. It just seems as if. Someone's not getting the recognition that they want either from you, Scorpio, or vice versa. Like you, they, you're trying to get recognition from somebody else. Um, let's see, what else can you tell Scorpio about that? Thank you. Okay, and this card flew out. Whoa, flew out of the deck. We have the Emperor. Okay, in the Three of Wands. In the World card. All right, so someone may live far from you. Once again, something about a move, a move, a travel around the world. Um, someone's being very stoic and, and stone cold and stone faced. But it, either you, Scorpio, you want to offer someone love where there is newness or a new baby or newness in, in a particular situation here um, what is this about yeah a new baby here nine of cups magician two of cups ten of pentacles all right so this one this spread looks pretty good Um, I can see that someone could be worried about being pregnant. They don't want to be pregnant or there's a, there's problems getting pregnant here. Um, yeah, there's problems getting pregnant here. Someone moved across the country and moved to be closer. Someone's moving to be closer. I don't know, still kind of getting in where someone's trying to make up for and make 
either Scorpio happy or vice versa. Scorpio is trying to make someone else happy um, because there's a lot of guilt here. you want you you do want a baby you do want kids. some of you want one particular person i don't is there's a lot of mystery with this person okay um but they embody everything that you really want in a partner in a better half um you date dream and fantasize about having a life with this person you want to ask questions about this person you may even be spying on them or vice versa them you um, cause someone feels left out in the cold and it's so mysterious in terms of what is the other person doing? Why aren't they communicating? I'm hoping and wishing for them. They make me happy, but not knowing where you stand with this person. It's a lot of mixed feelings too here. Uh, let's get you some advice from the Moonology card. Tell Scorpio and the Moonology cards. Okay, meditate and contemplate. Right, you see that? Meditate and contemplate. Because um, you might be exerting a lot of energy and action into something that's just not going to yield you a, a particular return. I did see that in the cards where you feel as if you put in so much energy, you know, so much money. For some of you, you're not getting a return. It says bring love into the situation. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, new moon in Aquarius. Um, we did see Aquarius come out in your reading. Um, bring love into it. Maybe there's just a lot of doing and gifting. And right, show the world the real you popped out of the deck. Full moon in Aquarius. So definitely you got new moon in Aquarius, full moon. So something could be happening for you around that. January, February time. See, def some of you definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius person. It says confidence is the key, is the key to success. Okay, all right. So be confident in whatever you choose to do uh, with a particular individual. Do know you don't really control people. You can only control yourself. Make sure that whatever you're choosing to do, you get the desired outcome for you. Okay. Um, thank you, Scorpio. If you feel like this reading resonated with you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Um, take advantage of the coupon code that I will post later for Cyber Monday. Once again, thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.